Hello and welcome to Flory Models Get View Time. Today we've got Trumpeters, very old, 124th scale Hurricane Mark II C. Now, again, it's always nice to go back and do older kits. Uh, I had this in my stash for a while, sold it, and then had a real itch that I wanted to scratch and that was doing a big scale hurricane and to be honest with you uh, this is one of those ones that are all going to turn up now as we know next year but it's been one of those things I think the hurricane has just been really really overlooked and especially the Mark II C version uh, of the hurricanes obviously we've got airfix did the mark one we've seen various ones around but i really think how much work that the actual hurricane did especially more obviously with world war ii and things like that that it's really just underrepresented in the modeling world because there isn't any really nice kits out there we haven't had new tool stuff for absolute ages so i thought what we could do is go back and have a look at an older kit and uh, we're going to build it obviously this year uh, and throw some goodies at it and see what we can do with a slightly older kit so i thought we'd start off and we'd have a look and a bit of a review to see what we get. So this particular kit was first released in uh, the early 2000s, around about 2006, 2007, I think. Um, there was other versions. You got the Mark I, this is the Mark II, and then later on they brought out the Trop version with a couple of extra sprues and parts in there and things like that, With obviously with the Trop um, air scoop on the front of it as well. So, But this is the standard Mark II. This is the version we wanted to go with, so uh, let's have a look. So, as you can see, pretty much normal as was of uh, Trumpeter in those days with this sort of top of uh, painted box art and things like that. Looks in very nice indeed. To give you an idea, obviously this is 124th scale. Uh, we've got the length of it is around about 41 centimetres. It's got a wingspan of around about 51 centimetres. It's uh, 203 parts in here. And again, it's got the usual old school sort of Trumpeter things going on with it. For your markings, again, down in here, we've got uh, one here from uh, Three Squadron in the sort of you know the later camo with the gray and green uh instead of the sort of you know the mark one of being in the sort of with the brown and the green and things like that we've also got the night fighter version over here as well with 87 squadron as well in around about 1941 uh, and 1942 beforehand uh kit number for this one is 02415 and again some of the details down here as you can see on the parts and obviously we've got some blurb about the actual hurricane down in there so in the box you are greeted by get in there we go you can see it's not a small kit like we were saying this thing is quite large uh, it is a bit of a beast and to be honest with you I have to say I think considering early trumpeter used to be let's face it the riveting was a little bit overdone and uh, you know obviously the, the panel lines were like trenches and things like that very quickly uh, they got in gear and uh, started to produce some really, really nice kits. And you are greeted, as you can see, through the bag. But we'll have a closer look in a moment with some gorgeous surface details on this kit. So we've got the wings there, which are nice one-piece wings, which is always good. We've got the fuselage, obviously with a famous fabric rear. Again, looks actually pretty darn good down in there. You can see by the age of the box, mine's a little bit uh, growing in something. Clear parts, so we got clear parts as well for the cowlings down the side, obviously instrument panels and the top glazing, so we'll look at those in a moment. We got down in here a the old fashioned photo etch, it's really really thick, uh, but we got some harnesses down in there and things like that and some more details. We've also got some, as you can see, plumbing uh, for the actual uh, pipe work and we've got the tyres, so that's quite nice. And then in one side we're greeted by some sprues, so we've got some control surfaces, some of the guns, various bits and pieces for the wheel wells. And then on the other side, we are greeted by props, spinners, engine mounts, things like that. We've got ailerons down in here, we've got gear and those types of things. And then we've got a very small one down in here, which is for the guns. So we've got the guns down in there for those uh, cannons. So we've got them, and then the all important instructions. So we just move the uh, mouldy bit out of the way. So we've got decals, we've got the color call out sheets, and we've got the instructions. So if we just start down in here with the old instructions, as you can see, usual way of doing it. You've got the layouts with the various things down in there for obviously all your parts, and then you're going straight in. So you can see cockpit, 
the banking app, obviously with the seat. You've got photo etch for harnesses. We'll talk about some aftermarket bits at the end uh, that I've got uh, to go with this kit and, and the bits I'll be replacing. But as you can see, you've basically got a basic, you know, not overly detailed uh, interior, but as I said, you've got to add a lot of detail into this one. And then obviously down in here, we've got the actual instrument panel being fitted onto this one. We've got the fuel tank going down in there and then you're straight into the engine. And again, the engine's quite basic, but it's all things you can work with and add more detail. So you're popping all the details with the engine down in here. Then we've obviously got the bulkheads and then obviously we've got the actual engine onto the engine mounts, things like that going down in there. Then it looks like this is, uh, I assume that's the trailing edges for the wings being put together. Some details into the side walls of those being fitted and then we're gonna be sandwiching both halves together pretty much standard right the way in there. Then, yeah, we've got the tailplanes being fitted. We've got the rudder being fitted. There's some little bits and pieces to go on down in here. We've got the door, the side walls being fitted down into this one, the gun sight being fitted onto this one, and then those clear parts, obviously you can paint over them as well for the engine. So putting those down in there. Wheel well system being fitted down into this one. And we've got the fuel tanks on top of the wings. And again, this is one of those areas where if you leave it as is, um, you're not going to see any of the details, but you could open it up. So think what I did to the old uh, Typhoon a few years ago. Uh, you could do something really similar to this particular model as well. Again, and yeah, the gun base pretty, you know, basic and all the rest of it, but you can add a lot of detail down in here. And again, in 24 scale, the great thing is it gives you the room to maneuver to scratch build and do a lot of work yourself if you wanted to. We've got the cannons being fitted down in there. So those ones dropped in and the ammo tubs and then obviously you've got the feeders at the top, the various things. The barrels being fitted down into this one as well right the way through. Ailerons being fitted down onto here and then underneath I think you've got the flap system being fitted and that'll go down both sides. And then you've got the underwing joining the top wing. Main gear going through, air, uh, the actual uh, cooling uh, scoop being fitted underneath for the radiator and then again depending if you want to open or close various things i think that's the oil cooler uh, intake as well being fitted down into there tail wheel going on there and then obviously gear prop various items being fitted into this one and again you've got your actual exhausts being fitted onto this one completes basically your model so again the nice thing about this is uh, and that's what i like about these bigger scale kits is that it's not overly complicated, it's quite straightforward, but it said before, it gives you the room to manoeuvre to actually add detail as you want. So if you want to, you could go to town with the engine, you could go to town with the cockpit, you can do some things I've done in the past, like taking the skin off of it and then building formers and ribs and then having it shown as well if you wanted to do it that way markings we spoke about before you can see down in here this is the sort of later color as you can see for 1942 with the gray green uh, scheme rather than the earlier uh, brown scheme or we've got a very nice night fighter one down in there as well in the black so if you wanted to do something a little bit different you've got a couple of options but there is a ton of aftermarket available for this one thing we will look at because this will make the decision if we end up using these or we go down the aftermarket route is the actual decals so as you can see not much to the decals there's not a lot going down in here it is what it is and looking at them you can see they're not the nicest but again there is aftermarket options you could go down that route if you wanted to but they look to be okay i can't see anything that's going to be wrong with those so uh, hopefully that will all be good with those so we also get if you've seen as well a little bit of photo etch so down in here we've got some harnesses and some of the details around in there just like that. Again, it's very, very thick stuff, but you know, it's totally workable. We've got some film, uh, something I'll show you in a minute, as I say, some of the aftermarket, but if you did want to do this way, you've got some basic uh, details down in there for the actual cockpit. So if we start with I think the fuselage. <clears throat> And there you have it. It is an absolute beast. As you can see, it's a big, chunky aircraft. But what's really, really nice about this and why I'm drawn to this, the surface detail is beautifully done on this kit. Even though it's an older kit, you can probably see down in here, we've got all the details we need to do. The actual fabric sides and things like that looks to be very, very nicely done. All the little areas between the fabric side and the bit metal areas seem to be nicely done. You know, the details on the interior look pretty darn good. You can see this one down here at the back looks nice. 
generally, I think it's is one of these ones where people dismiss these kits as being, oh, it's old trumpet, it'll be clunky and gnarly and everything else. Actually, they're not bad at all. You can see you've got a little bit of detail on the inside, but again, think about it, you can open all of this up. Same goes for this front section down in here as well, and it is this thing, and maybe we might do it, is take this all off. So obviously all the actual cowlings can come off of this one, and you can show it with the engine all done right the way through. Or if you just want to take off the side one uh, underneath the exhaust there, you could just do it that way if you fancy it. But again, not too bad, but like we were saying, it's a little bit lacking in details, but it's all stuff you can definitely add to. Okay, so let's get the monster done. And then we can probably move the camera in a little bit because the wings are obviously huge on this. So there we go. That gives you just an idea of how big this is. Bearing in mind, these are centimeter squares down in here. And like we were saying, from a wingspan point of view, it's 51 centimeters. So it isn't small. But hopefully you can see, and if we jump into the close-up, you can see just how nice the detail is. So I think by the time we've gone around with some post shading and we've done some various detail work and some weathering and oils and all the nice stuff that we can do under here, it's going to work very, very nicely. So don't forget, this is the Mark II, so it's got the sort of the metal wings rather than the fabric wings. So lots of riveting detail, as you can see, doesn't look bad at all. Tops of the wings, again, you can see, and all right, maybe a little bit over the top with that riveting down in there, but as I said before, it's sort of early trumpeter, but I wouldn't dismiss it. We are into 24 scale. By the time it's weathered, had washed clay on it, the usual bits and pieces, those are gonna shallow out and not gonna be as heavy. Nice touches though is the raised details. You know, the recessed is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's really nice to see we've got the raised details on this as well. So it's a really nice mix of both right the way through. As you might imagine, there's not a lot going down underneath here, because again, you're not gonna see most of it anyway, but uh, good, solid. And again, the ejector pins, they're not, you know, they're there, but at least they're out of the way. They're not hanging out. So again, really very, very nice indeed. Okay, so. <clears throat> right, okay. So if we just drop down in here, as you can see, if we just drop the camera a little bit in, there we go. So as you can see, parts themselves, nothing you would shout home about because they are big, but as you can see, they have got some nice detail. So down in here, you've got a little bit of detail, just a little bit of the fabric showing the sort of, you know, stressed skin effect into it. So that's not too bad at all. And if we move into the close up, Hopefully you can see the riveting detail is all still there. Those gear doors look fantastic. We've got the wheel hubs, and then obviously there's those control surfaces. Intake, it all is actually really nice. It's got a really good starting point. There's nothing on here you think, oh, that's terrible. That's gonna need a lot of work. You know, you have got the odd little bits on here. You know, it's some ejector pins in this. They're a bit pain because they're down in these, but it's all standard stuff. You get that on a modern kit, you know? So actually that's pretty darn good all of that okay so down in here we've got props engines things like that as you can see so that all looks pretty darn good can't see the problem again that engine headers things like that got the, the gearbox doesn't look too bad. Again, this is one of those ones that the more you look at it, it's nice and clean and crisp. It's not a, you know, say flashy and it hasn't got sink marks all over it. It all looks pretty nice, to be honest. We've got the spinner, those exhausts, which are done that way so you can have them somewhat hollowed. And again, we've got the radiator cooler. Uh, we've got the engine mount, which actually is really nice. Again, nice mixture, raised and recessed details. So that will be very nice indeed. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got two sprues in here. So we've got the gun mounts and all the different parts to it in there. And again, when you see it in here, and again, this is a little bit crude how this is, but we have a plan, so don't panic for that. Uh, we've got the underguard down in here as well. And again, the blisters for the tops of the guns. We've got the gun base, things like that. We've got that uh, cooler scoop coming up here. I think it's all cooler. Uh, and again, really very, very nicely done. And again, nice little touch down in here, inside the doors. There's no real detail to it, 
but it's all there so you can pop in a little bit of riveting down in here and various things inside the door so if you are showing them open and you want to stack them or stand them up or something really nice way of doing it and again nice skin textures things like that down in here we've got the fuel tanks for the wings so again nothing hugely you know wow that look at the detail but to be honest you're probably not going to see the fuel tanks unless you're going to open it up to show them but again maybe just a little bit heavily done some of these you know but i think by the time we said it's had some wash down into it cut the coats primer things like that that should knock back quite easily but again good sharp details so yeah really very very nice indeed okay we've got the cockpit areas down in here so we've got cockpit floors all of those types of things so actually it looks really really nice indeed so very nice and again little things like here got the raised detail for the bolts around the uh, uh, head area we've got the foot with the controls we've got the control column looks very nice brake handles nicely detailed we've got the button the various things side details down in here in the cockpit making all these parts up instrument panel yeah it's a little bit yeah but we've got to have a plan for that the seat fuel tank forward fuel tank things like that and then again we've got different uh, we've got the rudders over here so with the light on the tail and again you've got the internals for that one and again it all looks very nice indeed can't fault that right and then we've got down in here the guns themselves so in here i assume we have a match pair which we do all right so this is m and again you've got the hispano cannons i think they are and again this is a little bit you know it's, it has the big springs on here and all the rest of it but again we've got a plan for that which we'll show you in a moment so uh, stay tuned and i'll show you the aftermarket that you can get for this one as well uh, and the bits i'm going to be throwing at this so again really nice so a match pair of those then we got the clear parts so the clear parts consist of uh, the instrument panel if you were doing it that way so you can see it's got all the bezels and all the bits and pieces into it so again you could then mask up so you've got the glass way to sort of come through it or the other way to do it as i normally do is just drill out the clear parts and then put the back in and then obviously paint this black and then a PVA glue to give the glass effect. And again, really nice touch down in here. You can see the details showing through. And actually these clear panels, not that I am a, any way a fan of these, I just don't like them full stop, but they are crystal clear. That is really, really nice. That would probably one of the few times work. So uh, yeah, actually quite a fan of that. And what's really nice to it, it hasn't got ejector pin marks on the other side and all the rest of it. We've got the lights looking good and again it's one of these things the nicer because you're quite larger scales now it becomes more in scale so parts look thinner things like that for clear parts so that's really nice indeed and then last up we've actually got the sort of front and rear canopy parts uh, things like that we've got the double glass down in here for the armored glass and again that's all as you can probably see pretty clear very very nicely done I think that's all really nice and again it's got a nice sharp edge to it so masking should be quite straightforward and again we've got the wing lights down in here various parts we've got the gun sight which to be honest is a little bit meh as you can see there's, you can't really see anything through it but again clear parts where it counts really very very nice and clear you can probably see how nice and clear those are so yes beautiful stuff so right out of the box, I think you're going to end up with something really, really nice. And again, this is one of those ones. Don't, you know, automatically think, oh, well, the kit is like 15, 20 years old now. You know, what's the point? At the end of the day, this kit actually got some details there. It was actually first released in 2007. So, yeah, OK, it is sort of coming up now on uh, sort of 15 years old or over 15 years old now. But again, it's one of those ones where it's one of those kits that is actually a really good kit straight off the bat so don't think automatically oh it's old it's rubbish it was a fantastic kit when it got released and it's just got better so what i'm going to be doing is building this one so i've got some of the parts which we're going to be doing so to start off with as you can probably see the instrument panel was a bit meh so we've got one of the humor ones down in here and again this thing is absolutely gorgeous hopefully you can see it so we're going to be replacing it with one of these which i think are really very very nice one of the best ones for it good quality clear part uh for the actual uh, glazing and the various things so as you can see that is just really 
very very nice in there if i can get it out of the way there we go you can see it now so i think that's definitely a well worth uh, upgrade into it the other thing as well whilst we're in there as well we've got a set of harnesses so again i know these aren't exactly the perfect harnesses for it but it's one of these we're going to adjust to make it because i couldn't find the actual ones for it so we've got the sutton uh, quick release ones down in here which I think we can probably make work so a few adjustments and we'll be good to go we've also got a mask set for it so we've got the mask set down in here as well so it's one of the Montex ones so we've got that one of the really nice things to it is obviously we've got a gun set so we were saying the actual barrels and let's face it the Hurricane you know it's got a gorgeous uh, you know guns that are very but they're quite sort of badly molded shall we say so we've got these metal replacement barrels we've got the springs on there for the recoil and all the rest of it that should be definitely a worthy upgrade onto that one as well so that's pretty good last up so i just almost forgot we got the tires so again this is one of those ones where everyone freaks out about tires and stuff but in 24th scale you can probably get away with it but if you wanted to you can go down the routine of actually getting a resin set for it as well at the moment i don't know i am sort of drawn between doing these because as I said in this scale they look pretty good so we will see what they're like when we actually start to work on it but generally I think it'd be okay so there we go I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into a kit that I think just gets overlooked all the time okay I know it's 124 scale and I know it's big and it's not to everyone's taste having a kit that big but the great thing is it's quite a small aircraft in the first place so even in 24 scale it still fits on this cutting mat so it's not a massively over the top size kit but again it's not too bad price wise i think it's roughly around about sort of 75 quid for this particular kit and it's one of those ones where again you don't see them around too often people don't seem to have you know shot falls them and all the rest of it so uh, when you see them grab them that's where i see them especially when they're on offers and things like that but again it's one of those kits where i think it's really been overlooked we want to see more hurricanes in all the scales but this year i'm going to be tackling this one so this one if you're watching this which is being done basically in the new year uh 2022 i'm just about to start on it this month so if you want to join on with this build either you can watch along uh, with flory models or if you want to you can follow along with us on social media as well as we tackle this beast of a kit anyway that's the gorgeous trumpeter 124 scale hurricane mark 2c